Hello, good evening. Uh, this is Dr. Amihan, your once again your humble servant in health in the northern part of Antique. Uh, greeting you, good evening. How are you? Uh, tonight we will be discussing about uh, Molnupiravir, a new wonder drug uh, from Merck. Many of our patients are asking about the drug Molnupiravir because uh, they found out that uh, Molnupiravir is so effective that it could be the first available antiviral drug for COVID-19 if given a green light and authorization by the US FDA in its emergency use against COVID-19. Several weeks ago, the pharmaceutical company Merck filed a request to the US FDA for emergency use of Molnupiravir as an antiviral drug for COVID-19. As recent clinical trials showed that Molnupiravir reduces hospitalization and death in 755 participants with early COVID-19 symptoms into half. Thus, the US FDA halted or stopped the trial due to its very promising clinical trial results. But before we uh, continue our uh, discussion, uh, we will go first with the history of uh, Molnupiravir. Uh, the previous name of uh, Molnupiravir is EIDD-1931 or NHC. Uh, and NHC stands for N-hydroxycytidine. Uh, in 2013, it is initially uh, it was initially designed for the treatment of Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus uh, in uh, Emory uh, University. In, it is under uh, the company of, of uh, Drive, a non-profit company run by Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, EIDD or NHC was offered to Vanderbilt uh, University, of which uh, it was further tested uh, by clinical experiment and found to work well with multiple viruses such as your RSV, your SARS-CoV-1, your MERS influenza virus and mouse hepatitis virus in 2015. Since then, EIDD-1981 is very effective against multiple viruses, including uh, influenza. Then was tested on experimental uh, monkeys, but they found out that EIDD-1931 had a low antiviral activity in monkeys because the drug was quickly metabolized. So to solve the problem or address the problem, science, scientists and uh, researchers created a pro-drug which, if taken orally, can be converted into an active drug in the body, which is now called Molnupiravir. Thus, Molnupiravir was so effective against influenza. And uh, its developer, its developer applied permission for the drug to be a treatment for seasonal influenza 
in humans so they applied uh, permission to the US FDA uh, sometime in 2019 but the novel pan pandemic uh, emerged so the drug was also tested for SARS-CoV-2 as there is a race to develop treatment or a drug for the novel virus and lo and behold Molnopiravir turns out to be effective against SARS-CoV-2 in the initial trial and early uh, results of the studies until such time that it shows uh, promising results of reducing or decreasing hospitalization and death in the final phase clinical trials in humans so that is the reason why Molnopiravir Piravir is so successful now nowadays and uh, if as what I said if given the green light it could be the first anti uh, oral antiviral drug for the treatment of COVID-19 since we had a uh, remdesivir as an intravenous drug for uh, uh, COVID-19 patients since uh, Monopiravir is so effective in uh, against uh, uh, the uh, transmission of the virus so it the drug is consider, considered as a broad spectrum antiviral, antiviral drug it is a ribonucleoside analog its new name now is EIDD2801 or MK4482 the antiviral drug or agent works this way it incorporates into the RNA like building blocks of the RNA genome of the virus and defective RNA copies are produced if this genetic material is further replicated and the SARS-CoV-2 can no longer spread this is according according to the researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Biophysical Chemistry in Göttingen and the Julius Maximilians University at Würzburg so in short Molnopiravir works by error of uh, error catastrophe mechanism uh, it was mentioned a while ago that uh, from the researchers of the drug that uh, monopiravir is incorporated into the virus RNA genome then the defective RNA copies are produced once monopiravir is incorporated into the RNA genome and if these defective RNA copies are used by the virus during replication or and making the cap a copies of itself the process will result to mutations of the virus and if there is an increased rate of mutation mutation errors will also increase and accumulates which will reach to a certain threshold or limit and can result to 
lower or decrease viability of the SARS-CoV-2 decrease its lifespan and it will lose its pathogenicity thus will result to decrease viral loads to the patients and improvement of the signs and symptoms of patients who had or been infected with SARS-CoV-2. Error catastrophe happens if, muta if the mutation rate exceeds the limiting value during replication. So there is uh, errors of uh, mutations as it is caused by monopiravir on SARS-CoV-2. So the virus cannot uh, had uh, sufficient uh, May, cannot make a sufficient copies of it, of itself. So, what will happen to that? The virus will die eventually. Okay. Now, uh, we will go to the practical application of molnupiravir. It is a good drug. But the problem is its price. A five-day treatment can cost $700. You have to take it one tablet two times a day for five days. And you cannot get the drug if you are not tested with the virus you cannot uh, take the drug based from the symptoms alone it should be together with a positive RT-PCR test result likewise as what I have said, low income countries cannot possibly afford the drug because of its cost. And as what I've said, I mentioned a while ago that you should be tested first with RT PCR before you take the drugs. That is a prevention for drug resistance later on if people can take it right and left without the RT-PCR test taken. Okay? So, likewise, people are also asking if it is a substitute for the vaccine. My answer is, it is not, because the purpose of the vaccine is for prevention purposes. And nobody can refute that, that the novel vaccine which is available in the market today showed a good efficacy against SARS-CoV-2 because it lowers or decreases severity, hospitalization, and death more than 90% or maybe 95% effective in preventing SARS-CoV-2 infection or covid Molnupiravir, based from the studies, 
can only had a 50% efficacy based from the study compared to your vaccine of which has a more than 90 to 95 percent efficacy rate so monopiravir drug or pill is not a substitute for vaccine Okay, so uh, good night. Thank you for watching and Godspeed. See you. Yeah, nami man of home service check up sa lugar sa Libertad, Antique, Nature, Trip. Nami man of home service check up sa lugar sang Libertad, Antique, Nature, Trips.